Okay guys, it's good to ethic. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> Alright guys, so much crazy is going on right now. I'm just breaking in the water because I need it so bad. That was an insane second session. I'm so happy you went back in. I was like, ah, no, no. <laughs> There's a huge swell expecting to hit. Sardinia. The wind and the waves are building up from tonight. It's getting crazy tomorrow. Looks like on Friday we're gonna get waves up to six meters. Looks pretty heavy. The wind forecasted is also pretty insane. 40 knots with gusts up to 50-60 knots. While for Saturday the wind is turning from Mistral, from northwest to northeast, north northeast. We're gonna have to find the right place, the best spot, but I'm sure we, we're gonna get some sick conditions. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna have two insane days of action ahead. Uh, it's gonna be kind of a chase. We're gonna find the right spots in the right moment, but I'm sure it's gonna be fun. I hope Friday is gonna work mini capo because that place really, really looks insane. And for Saturday, we're gonna see. For sure, it's on. Let's go! What's your food? Camera. Here we go. Okay. Here we are after three hours, three hours drive. I left at 6.30. It's 9.30, I made it here to the Oristano area, specifically Capomanno, Capomanno Mini Capo. I'm gonna go check real fast the conditions. Looks like waves and wind are here though. Right, here we go. A go with my four row keyboard. Let's go and hit everything. Well, um, how can I say this? Um, it wasn't. It wasn't a good session. The waves were really nice. Not big, but really nice. The wind was side offshore. It was good, you know. It just. Um, it just couldn't work because there were like 30, 40 surfers just on the peak of the wave just on the point where you should attack you know go down the line full speed and attack and after that the wave was kind of disappearing so nothing i mean i'm really sorry it feels really frustrating because i went up and down for an hour trying to get waves trying to pass in the middle of the the surfers with all the respect but you know i also got like shouted at it's just uh i mean you know bad vibe and i mean i, I couldn't get waves and if i could get waves i couldn't ride them as i wanted to and as i as i should so it just didn't didn't make sense. So right now I'm just I just derigged and I'm moving to Funtana Mega, which is another spot only for windsurfers. So that's a great news. It could be good. Let's see. The wind it's pretty offshore. So let's see how how it goes. Funtana Mega. Yeah, it looks good. Namo. <laughs>
so we are on our way to this, uh, let's say, special spot. You can already see it down there. It had to be pretty big and good and side off and nice, but it doesn't look like. You can see something down there, but um, I'm not sure that's the way you want to ride. So I don't really know where is the spot. What's up everybody, good morning. So yesterday we ended up like that, you know, I had uh, two sessions in Funta Mega. The first one was a bit crazy because uh, I was overpowered on 4.0. I really need a smaller sail, I really do need it. The wave was a bit messy, I would say, but it was fun, you know. I went, I went back in the evening and I had a really good time and I got some footage of the GoPro up there. It was pretty crazy, so I got some fun crashes as well. And I ended up like uh, getting out of the water almost at dark, so I couldn't film again with the camera and anything, but um, welcome to day two, day two of the storm. Actually tonight I stayed in the Oristano area, so here close to Capomano and Minicapo because Locals told me that this morning there could have been a really, really special and really, really good place working. Uh, like uh, always starboard tag, side off conditions. And so I stayed here and, and actually I just arrived to the spot. And unfortunately, it isn't really working as they said it could. <laughs> I, I guess that's pretty normal here. You can get epic conditions, but it. A lot of variables have to perfectly fit, you know. You need a lot of little things to happen at the same time. So like, you need the waves from the mistral wind to stay during the night, and then you need the wind to turn to northeast. And so when, when that happens and the waves remain overnight, then you get a really nice side off uh, condition with uh, peeling waves and everything. But it, that's not easy, you know, because we're in the Mediterranean, so waves and conditions change fast. And usually the waves are brought from uh, from the wind, so it's hard to have both, but from different directions. So that's that's the challenge. But yeah, here we are. There aren't many waves. Actually, it's pretty small, one meter and a half, I would say. The wind, it's almost no wind, super light. Offshore, but almost no wind. And so I'm gonna check a bit more here and see if it's worth it. And if not, we're gonna move, probably go to the south of the island. The north, it's it's nuking. They sent me a video and it's nuking in the north. The east coast as well should be nuking. So let's see where we're gonna go, what, what we're gonna find and uh, how it's gonna be. For sure, a lot of uh, stoke to hopefully get some crazy, good, special, particular conditions, whatever. Just go in the water and have some fun. <laughs> so the waves should probably come from there there's kind of a reef and it should break all the way down but there's just no measure you know you need mistral waves and northeast wind so it gets side set up but there's no wind and no waves at the moment so. <laughs> all right guys so much crazy is going on right now i stayed here for half an hour checking the spot no wind small waves and so they just talk about going to the south of the island it could be good all right, I start, I start driving, 20 minutes in, I receive a call, hey man, the wind just got in. I'm like, fuck. All right, so I turn, turn the car, and here I am again, and now it looks windy, there are some waves, I'm gonna show you, and then I'm gonna just rig and go in the water because I need it so bad. <laughs> Okay guys, good to epic, <laughs> time to go. I didn't even have time to film some more, but uh, hopefully I'm gonna get some footage for the, for the vlog.
Woo! All right. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Got to sail here. I'm glad I stayed because uh, at the end we got some moments with not too crazy wind. Like I wasn't four zero overpowered. It was super strong and and super offshore. At some point it got like completely offshore. So you were like going parallel to the waves and it was super hard to do like bottom top turns or like even aerials because the wave wasn't too powerful so completely offshore hitting the lip you wouldn't you wouldn't really able to get back on the wave or like have some big airs you know inside the wave so it was a bit tricky but there were some moments where the wind dropped a bit and there I got some nice waves because the wave was glassy and it could put some bottom top, full power, full rail. Ah, oh, that was really fun. I had a few aerials maybe, if I remember well. And um, no, I mean stoked. You know, at the end it was fun and it was nice and you know to to be here and everything for how the day started. Uh, good news. Good news. Good thing. Now I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> it was also pretty cold, I would say. I mean, there's sun, but this wind is pretty cold. 2 p.m., I gotta decide what to do because I could go down south, but it's another like an hour and a half drive, and there are only three hours left of light. I'm just gonna eat something, I'm super hungry, and then, and then see, and probably make a move. <laughs> <laughs> Sick! That was a insane second session. I'm so happy I went back in. I was so cold, but you know, I went to uh, Nicola, my friend. I was like, ah, no, no. I was uh, with him, and he said, "Let's go for it." You know, maybe sunset session is gonna get better. It's gonna get cleaner, and that's exactly what happened. The wave got cleaner. It got even longer. I had like two, three, four turns in one wave. Uh, I was I was using the GoPro, but sometimes it just went crazy. I don't know, maybe for the cold, maybe for the cold, or I don't know what. So sometimes I just couldn't put it on. I think I lost some of my best waves. I had one wave that was like I could see the whole line going, you know, like in the first section, and it was probably two meters. I think so. Oh, it got so clean. I had like one air and then one deep bottom top oh, that was amazing i i just love these conditions i i love these conditions i love the feeling of going you know like with side side off wind and right direction of this well just go down full power put in the rail like dig hard with the rail and then come back fast on top and bam connected to the second turn i just love this i just love this and i i could have stayed in the water hours but I felt some pain in the, sh in the shoulder and uh, I mean the wind was still nuking and it was so cold like right now it's so cold <laughs> but uh, no that was so fun finally like such a good day yesterday I didn't have a great time so today was good to to score this you know this double session of wave riding it was fun this, the colors now are just insane Check the set over there. Woo! So looks like this well on the forecast is gonna continue in the southeast of the island because it's a northeast wind, so it could be good there tomorrow. It's two hours and a half away from here. <laughs> this island, it's huge. This island, it's truly huge. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start now. I'm gonna start driving, it's 5.30. Hopefully get there for dinner. Come on, light. <laughs> uh, I should get there for dinner and get some rest and tomorrow morning hopefully score another sick wave riding side side off session somewhere there in the south I've never been there so it's gonna be pretty interesting uh, to see how it works and how how it is all right guys for today it's everything and I see you tomorrow morning hopefully on fire <laughs> pretty tricky we don't know where to launch from to launch from the beach or we could launch from the harbor and get out out there the wave is up there as you could see it's pretty tricky I mean we're just trying to understand uh, where to start from the wind is completely side off it's just hard to evaluate a new spot you know in a 
completely new place. It's sunny, it's good, it's windy, it's wavy. So I think it's gonna be a fun day and a new spot, which is always, which is always challenging. But it's uh, super good, I think, to also improve your windsurfing, improve your confidence, and and you know just have new new adventures. All right, ready, steady, go. I finally decided I'm gonna launch from the beach. It looks good. I rigged my four row, big board for some jumping as well. It looks fun out there. Yep. something <laughs> there were some big bombs out there but it was hard to really ride them because uh, they weren't like too powerful or like too steep so I tried to ride a bit but my idea since the beginning was to jump I had those two first back loops felt so good I miss the feeling from these back loops you know like when you go up and you turn and you watch down and it's like you spot the landing and it's like you're so high and you're like you can almost count the seconds going down you know I finished the battery of the camera, so I'm gonna finish here. I'm gonna drive back with a big smile, uh, some good music, some positive vibes, and seriously being grateful for these days because I think I was lucky to get these conditions in Sardinia, secret spots, special spots, northeast it's a special wind here, so I'm glad I scored these two days. I saw some friends and you know, it's just the magic of windsurfing, the lifestyle it has. The adventures that it makes you leave you know just things completely out of your comfort zone driving in new places meeting new people sitting in a new spot it's just uh it's just also special and uh i think we all share this the love for these things i hope you enjoy these three days together i tried to show you the most i could and to bring you on board with me in these sessions show you a bit around of sardinia some more not only the north north coast i hope you enjoyed it please guys like the video if you liked it so we can understand and comment and tell me what you think about it what you would see let's keep you know engaging sharing the stoke having a good time hopefully motivate you to go out there and and have fun and windsurf and just live to the max this life yeah guys see you in the next video grandi